What is she doing? That is oh, what's up? that is terrible, terrible posture. Like this. Right? Her head is flexed forward. Oh, is this better? She's slouching. <laughs> She's making it worse as she goes. What if I sit like this? Mm, bad. Look at that neck. Sure, it's better on like the hips, kind of the spine, but the right, neck is terrible. Let me sit like this. Worse. Rolled this. shoulders. This. Oh, that's better. A little bit better. But like the phone. Yeah, there you go. Bring it up. Maybe a little higher. All right, duh. How many more ways do we have to sit? Guys, we're at home now. You know, um, hopefully by the time you're watching this, a little bit has changed. Let's be real. But. We get to remember that no matter where we're sitting, a couple of things matter. And what matters is keeping everything at 90 degrees. Can you actually give that back so I can show my face? Yeah. So if you're sitting at a desk, if you're sitting at a chair somewhere that's not the desk, the table, you want to make sure that your legs are at 90 degrees. So if your chair is obviously way too high and your hips are gonna be bent or way too low and this is gonna be happening, that's not good. Let's keep everything at a 90-90. You also wanna do the same thing with your arms. Now you could tell I'm not at this backrest, right? Well, I'm not gonna be able to hold myself up while I'm working for much longer. Like eventually I'm gonna do this. So this is probably not the best chair to use to support me or what I can do is I can roll up a towel so at least I have something to fit in the back here. But you want your arms also at 90 degrees while you're typing. You don't want your arms to be like this. You also don't want to be like this at a computer. The same thing is this way. When you're looking at a screen, you don't want to look directly ahead of you because what's going to happen eventually is this. So your head is bound to fall forward. Any of our postures are bound to get back. Your head's gonna fall forward, your shoulders are gonna dip, you're gonna slump, lose that core, and then you're gonna end up like this. I've done it a thousand times, you probably have too. If your screen is just a little bit higher, then you almost keep this like chin a tiny bit above, which at least helps you not do this right away. Yes, eventually that head might fall forward, but I'd rather have it be facing up and back as opposed to down and coming all the way forward. So now, if you're also at a um, dining room table, that might look a little bit different. It might be a really high table, so maybe don't type there. Maybe find somewhere else. If you get to write something there, fine. But if you're sitting for long periods of time, what's something that they could do, Dr. Chris? Why would you want to set a timer on your computer? Setting a timer will allow you to take a break. Number one, it'll let you get up, do a little reset. One thing we love as a reset is a simple exercise or a movement where you really curl in nice and tight and then you extend all the way back. And you may even hear some things move and pop in your spine. That's okay, don't be concerned. That'll be a good reset to get that range of motion. Obviously there's more you can do, but that's a good one a to do. Good. It does feel good. Yeah. Um, give your spine a little movement, which is fantastic. Um, set that timer, find a good spot. Um, you know, for a lot of you, what we've been told is that because you are home and you're regulating your breaks, you have a little more freedom in like how often you take a break, walk away. Sure. Even change posture, let's say for part of it, you want to, if you have a higher countertop or whatever, and you want to stand, and tight because that's a good height make sure you're not again way up here or way down low but that may be a good you know break from being in a makeshift desk like a dining room table <laughs> or something like that so it's 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 a challenge we it know is, it is for a lot of you guys wh wherever work was you had like an ergonomics team and you had this desk set up and you worked to figure this stuff out if you have specific questions please ask us because we've made our own modifications for our own desks from stacking books under the monitor to you know making uh, our own standing desks and other things like that there are ways to get creative to make sure that you can efficiently work without beating up your body yes and then in the evenings one thing that would super super help is grab your phones if you have the phones at home or grab your towels and have that be what you do to unwind no matter what no matter how 
like posturally fabulous we sit, eventually your head's gonna fall forward. It just happens, right? So being able to lay on your foams like this is going to help bring everything back and up so that we put that C-shaped curve where we need it in our neck and in our lower back. If you don't have the foams at home, you can pick some up here next week. Or at the same time, you have your spinal molding towel exercises that you can use, that you can do to help open everything up. Show us your desk postures, okay? We promise we won't judge. We're only here to help. That's right. See you guys, if you want some of these, let us know. We'll order you some, uh, yes. or you can pick some up if we've got them. Um, you have any specific tips? Let us know. You got it.